two minute rounds in the 185 pound division. Once again, our referee in charge is Jason Livigno. Introducing first, he'll be fighting out of the red corner. He entered the ring this evening wearing the uh, black trunks, and he's representing Extreme Couture. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Matt Pauly. His opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing black with the red and white flames, and he fights for and represents Nellis Air Force Base. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome David Sexton. All right, so here's two guys who just want to have a lot of fun and, and uh, enjoy themselves. They train, they work. But how about the uh, New York or the Washington Post writer putting a book together on the New York Times bestseller list in there? That's a great story. I'm not going to lie to you. This guy's a writer for the Washington Post. He's wrote a book that's on the New York Times bestsellers list. And he's now inside the Tough Enough Ring touching gloves. And, co <laughs> and coincidentally, he's built like the baddest man on the planet, Emilianenko Fedor. He is. So maybe he is, maybe he is a, a beast inside of the ring as he absorbs the right hand. Almost hard to tell these two fighters apart. It almost looks like they have the exact same shorts with the red. We're going to go ahead and say that uh, Matt Polly has the shorter shorts on with the spandex underneath. You wonder what Polly will say after the fight. Polly's got a mean, excuse me, not Polly, but uh, Sexton's got a mean look in his face. He's intense. Got the open hands of the Muay Thai. Polly's got a serious jab. He does. And he just barely missed that right hand. You see Sexton shaking his head. Swinging for the tree, strike one, strike two. Sexton changes to a, a southpaw. Oh, <laughs> that jab, he keeps sticking it. He does have a nice jab. He's dancing, he's got those hands up. Dolly with the kick. Look at that. Outside leg kick, huh? Oh, that jab's insane. He really does have a, a nice jab, and it, it's straight to the point. It's touching the chin, the right hand, and the left. I think that Sexton felt that left just now. You know what? Even though... Paulie moving away from that right. <laughs> he is moving. He's, look, he's just leaning. He's got a little matrix in him here. Little Neo. His chin is way up in the sky, but he's not getting hit by anything. <laughs> outside leg kick. Head movement. He's got good, good uh, reflexes. Oh, he takes a oh, right hand right. and looks at the referee like, did you hit me? <laughs> he looks over the corner like, oh. all right, so. Uh, Is that you that hit me or what? Looking for his corner. And he made it through round one. He won. A package of jabs or something. Okay. All right, Eddie, there were no highlights in that first round, but what did you take from it? I thought there were highlights. I thought he had, he, uh, Pauly landed maybe 10, 15 jabs. Look at the face of Sexton. He is stunned. How did he get hit, he's thinking. And how many guys am I fighting out there? Who is out here? Is he, is he shape-shifting? He's using the Buddhist temple. I can't even see him. The speed in which the jab is coming out by Matt Polly. He might write about how the referee took cheap shot at him. <laughs> Oh, both look at the misses. movement! Look at the movement by by Matt Nino Polly. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. He's got inside and outside leg kicks. Polly studied Sexton with his moves in the ring. He absorbs a jab here. Sexton, it's really intense. He's how do I hunt this fellow down and land a oh big right hand, a humongous right hand by Matt Nino oh. Pauly. Pauly with that confidence that seems to be growing with every punch. Oh. He hits him with the left hand 
and Sexton doesn't know whether or not to go south par orthodox. How do I fight this guy? What kind of strategy am I going to use against a man like this? Oh, he blindsides Theo. He catches him with the right hand, but he still can't find him. Polly. Polly doesn't want another right hand. Polly with those deceiving moves. Oh, and the right yeah. hand. Sexton doesn't know what hit him. The crowd getting into it. They're getting into it as Polly. Now they now they sense what Paul ran through a head kick. Polly like a leopard stalking his prey. Polly! Polly just an onslaught of punches. The referee has to pull Polly off of Sexton at the end of round two. Round two has come to an end and the fans are going nuts. Matt Nino Polly has got to be one of the fastest fighters that I've seen inside of the tough enough ring. Very deceiving. You see Sexton's corner. He's done. He's done. It's over. It's over. He got the boss. He's he can't take any more of it. Look at this. Polly with his hand raised. He's the champion. He dances around the ring. Look at the crowd. They're giving it to him. Oh. He spent months with the uh, monks in China. But this is the highlight of his career. Sexton will have no more of this. I'm not kidding. You can't make me fight that animal. I don't want any more of it. He stayed on the bench and didn't come back. No moss. No moss. Look at Polly with the ferocious left hands, and the referee has to pull him off of his, his opponent. That face was one of a tiger determined to get the win. Matt Polly, look at that. What an enormous win. Look at the smile on the faces of his trainer. Beast made one of his shirts, and he was definitely a beast inside of the Tough Enough Ring. As Sexton, who gave a valiant effort, still has not got up off of his stool. The, the hours and minutes and days of training have paid off for Polly. Polly taking pictures with Randy Couture inside of the ring. He's a legend inside of the Tough Enough Ring now. Polly is Marty, unstoppable. The Mardi Gras Ballroom has never seen anything like this. Oh, wow. My life has changed now that I've seen. If Polly can do it, I can do it as well. He is every man. Eddie Bravo stunned at what he's just seen. It's Eddie incredible. Bravo speechless. Incredible. The I mean, music only, playing kung fu fighting. Only, 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 a, only a master, an animal, can use this type of fight music, which truly describes what we've just seen inside of the Marty Sexton, Bravo room. And he has not gotten off off his bench. We go to Jake Gutierrez. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the second round, the blue corner retires. The winner by TKO victory, Matt Pauly! I see people standing for the great Pauly. I think that he'll be back. He has to be back. That's one of the great performances we've seen, and you may read about it. I can't wait for the sequel. A wonderful fight, wonderful fight. All right, we'll come back with much more.